All right, two man Atheon. I promise it is very simple. All you need is one Heat Rises Warlock. Uh, it's the best thing to run for this is two Warlocks, both running Verity's Brow. Uh, the Heat Rises Warlock will have Tractor, a Solar Sniper. The lower the RPM, the better. And then trust me, a Scout, not a Bow. And if you run anything else uh, as a primary, you're just fucking weird. Anyways, um, and then to make the other person's life way easier, the person soloing Oracles, aka Planet, whatever the fuck, uh, all you need is a Xeno. And again... Verity's Brow. It is recommended, but not needed at all to run a Solar Holster on that. Uh, and then over here, I'm running Solar Holster as well, just because it's helpful. And obviously, you got your scabs and whatnot. Anyways, so basically, uh, the whole point of this right here is that the Heat Rises Warlock is going to basically avoid the little burst. That's that's what teleports people, those little bursts that you might see as you're doing Atheon when, you know, people are teleported or whatever, there's a little burst that comes out. We're going to go all the way up there, and we're going to avoid the burst, and that's how we finna do this. So, uh, fuck you, Vampy. So you're just going to wait a little bit. At least this is what I do. I, I wait a bit. By the way, uh, v, v is Vampy. That's that's why I said fuck him, because, uh, fuck him. Anyway, so, 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 I'm going to wait a little bit. Just a little bit. And then now we can start our he rises be in the air, get like one or two kills, get that heat rises timer up, and then go around. You want to go a little bit to the left, so ride this here, and then right here, you just stop, and you will stay here. Your partner should be, as you can see what my partner is doing, is just like getting Atheon's attention, making sure Atheon doesn't kill you like Atheon's doing right now. Vampy is not doing a very good job at that. Anyways... <laughs> You're just gonna stay up here, keep getting your heat rises. Just like this. Atheon's up in the time streams. And then the second test, you come down. Three, four, six. I just realized. Thank you. Okay. Three, four, six. Anyway, so uh he's staying silent because he's weird. No, I'm playing, I told him to stay silent. But it's three it's three, four, six. I'll have a link in the description. Uh of the, of the real call that you should be using. I don't want to talk about me almost dying there. Five, four, one. And this is all that you do here. Five, four, one. This is you just call it the oracles, make sure you build that. Now he's in there, just soloing, you know, the, the planet. It's, it's, it's not that difficult to describe. Four, one, three. It is recommended to come up here because this is usually quote unquote safer. Four, one, three. And then now we're going to come down here because this is the third wave. And we're going to start getting our, uh, well, I missed my shot there. Our, uh, you know, our Verity's Brow. He's going to come out. He's going to use Xeno to get his Verity's Brow up. We are simply just using the Sniper. Give me that Relic Boy. I will explain the relic after this, for those of you that don't know how the relic works. And that's a damage phase, and now we're just going to immediately come over here, pop that heat rises, and just do the same thing, except now it's way more instant. Obviously you don't have the time, you know, because when you start the encounter, you have time, because at the end spawning in, woo. Anyways, you come up here, and you just do the same thing. Obviously, your partner is going to be speaking. He's not going to type in chat what plane he's in uh, to make it easier. Obviously, you know, that's just that's just how it is. And as you can see, my partner, he's grabbing the attention of Atheon. Pretty simple. This is literally all you do. Um, it, it's as simple as this. Your, uh, your partner, if you are the Heat Rises, your partner does not need to be a Warlock. As I just said, it's the best. All right, now we're going to come down. There we go. Four... Three, five. They could be whatever character they want. Four, three, five. It's just War Warlock's the best because Verity's Brow and Fusion, as you can see, melts quite a lot. Four, five, two. Four, five, two. And you just come up here. Yeah, four, five, two. 
You start building it up a little bit early. Six, four, one. And in case you're wondering how to solo planets, six, four, one. You could literally go on YouTube, search like any two man Atheon clear, and you'll find it. It's pretty simple. You just have the relic, and you just uh, you just go all the way in the back. At least that's like the easiest way, because you know we're 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 lazy out here. We don't uh we don't try hard. We're none of that. And he did. So it's that simple. Uh, thank you, Mr. Vampy, for joining me. Mr. Vampy. Anyways, uh, so if you were, um, if you were, uh, Relic, you would obviously, you know, I didn't mean to do that. You would spawn all the way over here. You would have Zeno, because you're a Chad. You would grab the Relic, right, right? You would run over here, come over here with the Relic. Boom, Gatekeeper, bam, bam, blah, blah, blah. All right, everything's dead. And then, obviously, your partner's calling out. You stand right here, because you're a Chad. Uh, you could also go in the back. If you're feeling really lazy, I know I said to do that. Uh, so if you're feeling lazy, you could do that. But I like to stand here. It's just, it's just what I prefer. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. It does not change when you stand here. That right there, no matter what planet you're in, is always one. That's always six, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I'll have a link in the description. That's literally all it is to Two Man Atheon. You just have one person on Xeno, solo the planets, which again... That, that's even like a six-man strat of having somebody solo planets. And then you have somebody he rises. Now, if you don't want to play any Warlocks at all, that, that's a little fishy because then you got to do the res strat. So, obviously, um, before you start the encounter, you just have whoever wants to stay outside, fall down, die, and then you start the encounter. You know, just like a regular six-man, somebody solos the planets. And then at 132, because, you know, light fading at the bottom right-hand corner, if we were still the encounter, you would see light fading. At 132, you would then res yourself, and then, in case you don't one phase Atheon, because you know, what what the fuck. Anyways, you would then hop up, hop down again, and then you would see at the bottom left, a little bit above your super bar, it would say, you know, Atheon does this, and then the second text that shows up. There's two texts. There's the time streams, and then there's something after that. The second test text that pops up, that is when your partner would start reviving you. And then they would get teleported while you stay in here. And then obviously if you need to do yet another phase, you just have your partner go ahead and die instead. So with Heat Rises, you know, the Heat Rises strat, you have four phases because Atheon has four phases. But with the dying strat, in case you have no Warlocks or whatever, uh, you, just, you just have three phases. Which, realistically, you should be two-phasing Atheon as you should have somebody on track to. And then obviously spam the nades. For Warlocks, Verity's Brow. And then Fusion. For Titans, be lazy. Pulse Nade, Curace of the Falling Star. Trust me, just be lazy. And then for Hunters, you have Blade Barrage, Star Eater Scales. And then obviously Fusion Nades. And that's what you would do for each thing. Um, and, 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 and that's really it. That is uh, Two Man Atheon in a nutshell. Uh, good luck.